Pakistan proposes joint defense production with Turkey and Azerbaijan. On November 30, the foreign ministers of Pakistan, Turkey, and Azerbaijan conducted a trilateral meeting in Baku, Azerbaijan, during which Pakistan's foreign minister Kawaja Muhammad Asif proposed for joint defense production between the three countries, Turk Press. Recalling that Azerbaijan will procure Super Mushchak trainers from Pakistan Aeronautical Complex, PAK, the Azeri Foreign Minister Elmer Mamadi Arif agreed with Asif, stating, we can set up joint projects to produce defense products and develop cooperation in this field in a trilateral manner. Turkey's Foreign Minister, Mevlut Kavuzoglu, reiterated his colleagues' sentiments, saying, we are not competing with each other in this field defense, but we are complementing each other. Finalizing the contractual details for 10 Super Mushchak trainers from PAK in September, Azerbaijan and Pakistan inked the contract during the Trilateral Foreign Ministers meeting. Launched in 2002, the PAK Super Mushchak is an upgraded version of the Mushchak, a licensed produced copy of the Saab MFI-17 supporter. The Super Mushchak is powered by a 260 HP Lycoming IO540 V4A5 piston engine, Hartz L2 blade propeller and improved avionics, Garmin 950 or Dynon Skyview Classic. Pak took over the role as manufacturer of the platform when Malmo Flyge Industry ceased producing and supporting the platform. Turkey is also among the Super Mushchik's customers, with 52 aircraft on order. Besides training, Pak is also configuring the Super Mushchak with an electro-optical and infrared (EO/IR) sensor turret and guided air-to-surface weapons. Ostensibly for counterinsurgency coin, missions, it is unclear if the armed Super Mushchak is for live combat or training. Pakistan and Azerbaijan are among Turkey's realizable markets for its defense items, including big-ticket systems such as the Turkish Aerospace Industries TI, T-129 ATAK attack helicopters. In each of those markets, there are opportunities for the sale of wheeled and tracked armored vehicles, artillery, helicopters, fixed-wing combat aircraft, electronics, e.g. sensors, and munitions. Azerbaijan and Pakistan, being the smaller defense industry players of the three countries, will likely look to limit their hard currency outflows and increase support for their respective defense suppliers by linking to the supply channels supporting the Turkish armed forces. This could potentially be had by Islamabad and Baku partnering with Ankara in the latter's development programs. Pakistan is also eager to sell JF-17 Thunder multi-role fighters to Azerbaijan. PAK is configuring the Aselsan Aselpod targeting pod to the JF-17, the completion of which will provide the JF-17 with precision strike and reconnaissance capabilities. This, along with potentially other Turkish subsystems and air-to-surface weapons, could make their way to Azerbaijan should Baku select the JF-17.